Okay, so welcome everybody to this Tuesday. We are going to be talking today in this webinar about the uses of the Happy Factor, that wonderful product. Our best seller is the product that you cannot lack in your back bar. So in the first place, we are going to start talking a little bit about the company. So for the people that connect for the first time with Dermasuis, you can have a little bit more about uh, information about us. Okay, so Derma Swiss is an exclusive skincare brand with more than 26 years in the industry. Uh, we have many products that are made in Europe and Switzerland, Germany, and France. And we have other products that are made here in the United States, but always using the best active ingredients. There is one word that characterizes our company, and that word is effectiveness. We are always, you know, um, working. So our products are very effective. So the products really do in the skin what they say they are going to do. So when you do, when you do a facial uh, with our products, you are going to see the difference in the skin. You are going to see the change in the skin. But for that, I recommend you that you follow our master protocols. If you don't have them still, please contact your representative and ask her for the master protocols, okay? Um, we have um, these master protocols are like the pillars, like the basis of uh, spa business, you know, facials. And uh, we have there in the master protocols for acne, for rosacea, mature skin, wrinkles, dry skin, uh, derma planning, microdermabrasion, microneedling. Okay, so those protocols uh, we have in those protocols, we have one for all skin types or skin condition. Okay, so you can you can choose from there, and from there you can of course add other protocols to your menu. Okay, so um, we have in our products marine ingredients, biological in ingredients, and botanical ingredients. Many botanical ingredients and natural ingredients in our products. We are always looking that our formulations are made in a way that they don't um, include ingredients that are harmful for our, our bodies, you know, for uh, like preservatives, sometimes uh, there are several the theories that says that some of the preservatives like parabens are really bad for our body. So we are not uh, using, we do not use parabens in our products. And uh, another thing is we do not make tests in animals, okay? And we are always looking, you know, for other kind of ingredients that can be harmful for an environment. So uh, we try not to use them, okay? Like for example, for sun protection, you have to be really careful today a days uh, because there are many sun protections out there with the chemical filters like octinoxate, um, almost late. And those ingredients are really bad for the burial, for, for the coral barriers in the sea. And we know how important are the coral barriers. So we really need to uh, raise the awareness, you know, about some ingredient, about, about the sun protections. We need to use the mineral sun protections. Those ones are made with zinc and titanium and do not contain any chemical features. So for example, the sun protection from Derma is the sun protection is a 50, SPF 50 is, is going to completely protect your skin from UVA, from UVB, and is a mineral sun protection. It's made with zinc and titanium, and it contains other ingredients that are, you know, like shea butter, it contains um, uh, green tea, you know, very antioxidant, contains aloe vera. So this is some protection that is gonna be wonderful for your skin. Uh, okay, so another thing is that we have products for our back bar, for your back bar, and as well, we have products for, uh, for you to sell uh, and recommend the products to your clients to use at home. And in this moment, I want to do, uh, I want to, you know, like a, a kind of a parenthesis because estheticians are really good doing the services and doing the facials and doing the corporal treatments, the body treatments. But the thing is sometimes when we start our careers, we are not so good recommending the product to our clients. And that's a huge, huge, huge mistake. In the first place, because with one treatment that you do to your client once a month, you are not going to make that skin change. I mean, there's not going to be a big change in that skin. 
we need the client using a professional product, a good product at home that we know how we are going to recommend it. We know how they are going to use it, how many times a day or you know, a week in the night, in the day. So it's very important for us that we really know the products, we really know the ingredients of the products, and we really know how the products work, we can recommend it to our clients, okay? And the thing is, um, for example, if a client is not using as, uh, either, you know, the product at home, sometimes they come back, you know, next month for the other treatment and they say, hey, well, there is no change in my, in, my, in my skin. Of course, there is not going to be that huge change unless they use the product. So another thing is that we are, you know, um, business entrepreneurs, we are beauty entrepreneurs, and we really need to know that this is a business. We are here doing a business. And for your business to be, you know, um, open, for your business to be healthy, you need to sell products because doing only services is going, you are, you are not going to strive. You are not going to grow and expand your business. So that's why it's very important to each client that you see, you recommend the product and you sell the products, okay? Okay, so um, another very important thing when you start working with our, our line is that we have a, a strong passion for education. And it's because we really believe in, in teaching others. We really believe in guiding our clients in helping more than anything our clients. We really think that when we let you know how to use the product, how to do the services to your clients, how to do everything, you know, all that we can, we can help you with in your business, the more you grow, the more we grow. So we really, uh, you know, we really believe in education. We are always offering seminars, webinars, mini courses. So when the, um, the, the month goes almost ending, be uh, be in contact with your representative and ask her for the calendar of the next month, okay? Because we are always going to be there um, helping you with new themes and with new seminars. Uh, okay, so let's uh, talk a little bit about chemical pills. We have a chemical pills line. In that line, we have the mandelic acid, the lactic acid, glycolic and salicylic acid. This is one of the strengths and advantages of Derma Swiss line. And uh, these chemical peel lines, as you can see, they are not mixtures, okay? They are not blends. So you can um, customize the treatments to your clients because you can work with all of these different chemical peels. If you do not have expert expertise in the application of chemical peels, then you can, uh, you can there is a, a very good, a wonderful thing from Derma Swiss, which is another advantage is that you can use the chemical peels diluted with our derma scrub. This is the derma scrub. It's another wonderful product that we sell, you know, it's, it's another one of the best sellers. And uh, for example, let's say that you want to use the lactic acid, but you don't want to apply directly in the skin because you don't know if the skin tolerated, you are not sure, you are afraid of burning the skin or frosting the skin. So you can take a dose of the derma scrub, which is going to be the size of a quarter. Okay, that's the dose. That's the dose that you need of the derma scrub, and you are going to mix with that derma scrub three or five drops of the lactic acid, or three or five drops of the glycolic acid, or three or five drops of the salicylic acid. So you apply that to the uh, to the to the skin of your client, and you can activate it with the tips of your fingers. Or another way is that you can activate it with a brush. So you are going to pass it and you are going to activate it in the skin with little circular movements, okay? Always from inside to outside. That's the way that you activate and manipulate the scrubs. Don't do this with your whole hand because you are going to irritate the skin of your client. So it should be with the tips of your fingers, a little circular movements from inside of the face to outside, okay? so. Um, then after you activate it, you can let it set for one or two or three minutes, and then you remove everything with water. There is a, there is a blend, there is a mixture that we make, and that mixture 
is to apply before extractions. And that mixture is for you to do mini facials, to do fast exfoliations. It's a wonderful exfoliation you can do mixing the derma scrub with the glycosyl, okay? With the glycosyl. Now, the glycosyl is not a direct chemical peel. The glycosyl is a gel that we have in our line with glycolic acid 12%. So if you mix the derma scrub with one or two pumps of glycosyl as well, you could do a wonderful exfoliation. So you try it in your skin. You can do that, you know, once every two, every two weeks or maybe once a month. If you have a skin very thick, uh, very oily, then maybe you could do that once a week, but don't over exfoliate. Remember, over exfoliation is not good for the skin. Okay, so remember, derma scrub and glycosyl. Okay, girls, so let's keep going. Uh, we are in Instagram. Please follow us. I invite you to follow us if you haven't. Uh, we are always placing new information in Instagram, information about the congresses, for example, online events or any event that we are going to have. And uh, we just have an, had an online event this weekend, you know, the Sunday and yesterday, Monday, the whole day. We were um, doing demos live in Instagram and we were giving, you know, a lot of education online in Instagram as well. You are going to find us as Germaswiss underscore pro. That's our account for the professionals of the beauty. Uh, we have another, we have another account which is German Swiss Institute, and that's the account for the that's the account for the institute because we are an institute here in Miami, and we teach the classes for the people that want to have their skincare specialist license in the Florida state. Okay. And there is another account which is only Derma Suisse, and that's the account for our retail clients. You know, only you know end client that wants to know about our product and use our product. If you have not, uh, if you don't have an account for your business in Instagram, you need. It's very important to have an account for your business in Instagram because that's the way how you are going to promote yourself is a non-expensive way right now for promote your services, your business, and is a very strong platform for, for businesses, okay? Okay, so let's start talking about Epifactor, this absolutely wonderful product that I have here, Epifactor, okay? This is a product that you need to have in your back bar. This is a product that you need to have to sell to your clients. You are going to need a lot of Epifactor. I'm going to explain everything about this wonderful product. Okay, so Epifactor is a very rich restorative formula with a powerful healing and regenerative properties for the skin. Okay, so Epifactor is going to help regenerate, is going to help repair, is going to help restore the skin. The epifactor is going to act in the skin as an epidermal growth factor because of all, due to all the ingredients that this formula has, okay? Um, so uh, it's very, it's ideal to use uh, in your back bar in professional treatments after aggressive treatments, for example. After chemical peels, you are going to apply epifactor. After microdermabrasion, strong microdermabrasion, you are, you are going to apply epifactor. After... After fibroblasts, after fibroblast, you are going to apply Epifactor. Um, after microneedles, you are going to apply Epifactor, okay? So when there is tissular damage, you know, the skin is, is red, but because there is tissular aggression, you are going to use Epifactor, okay? And from night to the next day, you are going to see the difference, huge difference in the skin. The Epifactor is a product that contains aloe vera. Remember, the aloe vera is very rich in polysaccharides. And the polysaccharides are rich nutrients for the skin that are going to help the skin to heal. That's why aloe vera is so healing, because it's very rich in polysaccharides. So we have as well here the Bioplasma FA. The Bioplasma FA is a, is a unique blend of, our, uh, of the laboratory in Switzerland. And this blend contains, uh, which is the plantum extract. We all know the plantum extract are, you know, these little unicellular algae that are in the sea and contains as well amino acids and ferulic acid, which is the arginine ferulate, ferulate okay? So 
um, just, uh, give me one second. So when you have, you know, this aloe vera and you have the plantum extract and the, and the amino acids and the prolic acid, this mixture is going to work in synergy. They are going to potentialize each other. Another thing that we have here in the epifactor is the ILO oligo, which is the hydrolyzed hyaluronic acid. Is a, is a little, little molecules of hyaluronic acid that are going to penetrate very deep in, in, in the skin. It is a concentrate molecule that penetrate deeper in the layers of the skin and it's going to increase the epithelial hydration levels. You know, it's going to increase the epithelial hydration levels twice as much as normal hyaluronic acid contains as well urea. Urea is going to help maintain the hydration in the skin. Contains castor oil, which is going to be anti-inflammatory, antioxidant, and contains a little bit of glycolic acid, which is going to help the rest of the ingredients penetrate in the skin. There is one thing that is very important that I didn't uh, talk about that, and is that the epifactor is going to increase the ATP. Okay, the ATP is the adenosine triphosphate. And this is the molecule that is going to uh, give the energy to the cell. Okay, so this is cellular metabolism. We need energy in the cell for so the cell can, can do the job, so the cell can metabolize, so the cell uh, can do all what she needs, uh, the, it, what it needs to do, okay? So the epifactor is going to prevent the formation of wrinkles. The prefactor is going to be anti-aging because of that. You can apply it in the day, you can apply it in the afternoon, you can apply it in the night. So this is a product absolutely wonderful. Okay, so let's keep going because I am going to uh, keep uh, telling you other things about this product. Okay, so uses of epifactor at home. So we are going to recommend epifactor always after uh, aggressive treatments for use at home, okay? Remember, after chemical peels or if the client had too much redness after, a, a, after a, um, any treatment that you did, um, you are going to recommend a factor after fibroblast, completely important to prevent the hyperpigmentation to use a factor after, you know, strong microdermaration, uh, remember, uh, so after microneedles, very important after microneedles. So the way that we do it in Dermot Swiss for microneedles is we sell the package of the treatments, a package of microneedles of three treatments uh, of microneedles, which is going to be for $150. And we uh, give uh, the epifactor to our client as a gift. Okay, so what you are doing is you are selling a package and you are giving the client the, the retail size, which is one ounce of Epifactor. And this costs uh, $35 to you. This costs $70 to the client. So it looks like you are giving $70 to your client. Okay. And you are charging for three sessions of the micro of the micro needling. Okay. So it's, it's a wonderful package. And in this way, you are making sure that your client is going to use the product that they need to use at home in order for that skin to regenerate and recover, okay? So we are going to recommend Epifactor for rosacea as well for sensitive skin, you know, a skin that is going to show redness, a skin that is disquamating, like kind of peeling, Epifactor is going to be very good. Uh, for skin. It's not like for dry skin. It's I'm talking about the skin that is, for example, uh, rosacea, when you see that is peeling, that is uh, really uh, with this uh, damage in, in, the, in the tissue, in the skin, you know, due to the, to the temperature of the skin, due to, uh, you know, usually people with rosacea, they don't do exfoliations because the, the, the skin itch, burns, hurts, okay? So usually they don't exfoliate how, how they should. So you could see this papulopustular rosacea with this redness. In this case, Epifactor is going to be very good. Um, you can recommend Epifactor for your acne clients when you see the skin is desquamating, when you see the skin is so dry, instead of the Coplasin Serum, which is the product that we usually, we usually recommend as a moisturizer for oily, 
skin or acne skin, then you recommend the factor. It's going to be a little bit more, uh, it's going to be a little bit more um, moisturizing for this skin with redness, okay? Because remember, when you see redness in the skin, that means dehydration, that, that means a lacking of water. That means that in that skin, there is going on, there are going on some uh, inflammation process, okay? So Epifactor is going to be good for that skin. Okay, so another recommendation is going to be for intimate areas to avoid hyperpigmentation. Yes, can you believe that? Yes, because what happens is sometimes people with overweight or people, you know, when they do exercises or usually they have like humid parts between the legs, you know, intimate areas, what happens is that friction, you know, when they are overweight or the friction with the clothing or you know the humid area, the friction that is going to be little by little doing an aggression is going to be doing an aggression in the skin, and because of that, you they will have the hyperpigmentation. So when you apply the pigmentor every night and in the day, okay, every morning, you prevent you prevent that friction to damage the skin. So what, what is going to happen is you are going to have less hyperpigmentation. So yes, for that, you can recommend the P-factor as well. We are going to recommend the P-factor after chemical peel burns. Let's say that the skin couldn't tolerate it. Let's say that maybe you trespass the time, you know, you pass the time that the peel should be applied to the skin and the skin is really red or you got any frosting, the client got frosting in the skin. Okay, so for that, you are going to recommend as well Epifactor and they are going to use it for two weeks after the session, after the, the you know, the troll that you had. And you are going to see in three days or less, they are going to be um, completely with the skin, you know, recovering. If you had frosting in your skin, you know, frosting is when you have this little whitish foam when you are applying a chemical peel. What is happening there is a little burning, okay, in the skin. So immediately you need to apply the neutralizer and mm, remove everything with water. But still, the client is going to have the ready the redness. The client, you know, is like a kind of little burning in the skin. So uh, you, they are going to apply the P factor. You are going to apply the P factor in the professional treatment. After that, you have to remove everything with water, you apply the P factor and you apply a collagen fiber with aloe vera, collagen and aloe vera mask from Derma Suisse. And for the client to get at home, they are going to use the P factor and some protection every single morning. Okay, some protection in order to prevent the hyperpigmentation uh, the post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation due to the frosting, okay? Um, another, uh, remember, after microneedles, injuries due to excess of microdermabrasion, injuries due to excess of microneedles, and um, even if they if they didn't have a, an injury, you know, you are going to recommend the P-factor to use at home. To avoid skin irritation after shaving in men and women. That's absolutely wonderful for men as an aftershave. So, you know, this is something that you can buy now and you could do little kits with, the, for example, with the ST lift and the P-factor. And you can sell that as a kit for men for November, December, uh, you know, when your clients go to your business, they can find this little package, this little kit, and they can give to their, uh, to their, their fathers or their husbands as a gift. It's a wonderful gift for men. Okay, so it's going to be the ST lift and the, uh, the Epi Factor, okay, as an aftershave, and they can apply that every single morning. To, um, for women as well, for us, when we shave in our intimate areas, when we shave our, our legs, when we shave our underarms, you know, you can apply it. You know, there are a lot of women that uh, have uh, that irritation after the shaving. So for that, you can apply the P-factor as well. For sunburns, girls, that's absolutely wonderful for sunburns. You go to the beach and then you get the burn. So you're going to completely irritate it. Your skin is going to be like really red. So you are going to get home. And for one or two weeks, you're going to apply Epi Factor to the whole skin. Okay, you apply Epi Factor to all your shoulders, back, uh, the clay, to, the, to your face. Everywhere you get the burning. 
Uh, Epiphlatter is wonderful for burnings. For example, you got the burning in your kitchen or you, you got the burning, you know, doing your hair. Uh, many, many of us have had that um, uh, sour experience, okay? So you are going to use the Epifactor, the Epifactor from one night to the next day, you are going to see how that is gonna dry and you are going to have new flesh and you are going to have new tissue there is unbelievable when you start using the Epifactor. Another wonderful application of the Epifactor is for example, for your kids. If your kids fail, if they have these big scabs after the fail, so okay, uh, the next after, you are going to apply the Epifactor the next, the day, the day after, the, the next day after the injury. And you are going to start applying Epifactor and you are going to apply for one or two weeks and you are going to see it's going to prevent the hyperpigmentation and it's going to prevent the, the, the scar and the damage in that skin, okay? For small cuts or burns in the skin, absolutely wonderful as well. As well. The small cuts in the kitchen, in your house, you can always apply Epifactor. And for friction injuries, fall, fall injuries, even for children, okay? So we can see here, this is a papular pustular uh, acne. You can see the inflammation, you can see the redness underneath in the whole skin, okay? What happens is sometimes the clients with acne, they see that your skin is so um, oily and they start applying and applying every product they can buy on, over the counter because they think the more they dry the skin, the less acne they are going to have. And it's completely the opposite, okay? Because remember the skin is smart and the skin is like, oh my God, I am drying, so I need to produce more oil. What you need in your acne clients, what you need in your oily skin clients is balance. That's the word that you have to tell and you have to educate your clients with. Balance. You don't need a really dry skin. You don't need a really oily skin. What you need is to be in the middle. So the more you dry the skin, the more you try to dry the skin, the more oil the skin is going to produce. But what happens is for sometimes they are going to have this desquamation. They are going to um, they are going to make the pH of the skin more alkaline. So they are going to have more proliferation of bacteria. They are going to have more inflammation. So it's really bad in all the cases. So instead of recommending the complacent serum, which is the normal moisturizer that we recommend for acne, we are going to recommend in this case is the Epifactor. It's going to help uh, for the hydration of the skin. It's going to help, you know, after you, for example, in this skin that you are seeing here, you are going to do the acne facial, master protocol acne facial. Always follow the master protocols until you really know the products and you can start, you know, your, your own things. But meanwhile, you are learning, go and follow our master protocol. So for example, you take this client and you do a master protocol for acne. And uh, after you extract all of these pustules, then you are going to apply, you know, the factor, you are going to apply the purifying mask and you are going and you are going to recommend the acne products for this client to use at home. It's very important. What they are going to use, the purifying cleanser, normalizing lotion, clarifying serum, anti-impurities. Those are four products that you really need for acne. You are going to recommend them the Epifactor as a moisturizer in the day and the retinol to use um, in the nights, okay? In the nights, every four nights. So three nights with clarifying serum and the fourth night with the retinol. And you are going to see how this, this skin is going to go changing little by little. That is uh, one thing that we need to have in mind is that our acne um, line contain, contains prebiotics. These are substances that are going to help grow uh, with the growing of the bacteria, uh, you know, microorganisms in the skin. And why do you want that? Well, you want that because you want a natural approach to acne skin. What is gonna happen there is the microbiota of the skin of the skin is going to balance itself little by little. So you need to give time. You need to, be, you need to give one to three weeks, you know, for these natural, uh, you know, the microbiota of the skin, this natural uh, ecosystem of microorganisms in the skin, you know, they are going to balance little by little. So here we have rosacea and sensitive skin. You can always recommend the Epifactor as well when you have the erythematophalangiectasic um, rosacea, okay, um, 
uh, is going to be uh, redness, you know, persistent redness in the cheeks. And you know that your, your client has rosacea, you are going to find the telangiectasias as well. Okay, so for these skin types as well, you can recommend a bifactor to use at day or to use at night. Okay, so here we have friction injuries, abrasions, and this could be in adults, this could be in kids as well, you know, your kids fell from the bicycle or because they were running, you know, uh, you can always after, you know, the next day of the injury, you are going to start applying the B factor. So that's going to recover, it's going to regenerate the skin. And you are going to see, I say it's a miracle product uh, from Dermasvis. I love this product since I started to work uh, with, uh, with the company eight years ago. I started uh, working with a um, part in the laboratory, you know, with research and, uh, you know, to make new products and recommend as a consultation for new products. And then as well, I started teaching seminars and it's been a wonderful trip. I have learned so much about products, ingredients, everything. And this is, this is my passion, okay? So uh, I always loved the Epifactor since the beginning. Okay, so here we have some burns in your whole body, in your legs, arms, shoulders, back, the collet in your face, always apply Epifactor because when you have a sunburn, it's because the ultraviolet rays of the sun have penetrated in the skin and they have damaged so much the skin, uh, you have a burn. So that's an actual burn, a horrible burn. Um, you know, a, a lot of people has second degree burns from sun and uh, you need to recover, you need to regenerate that skin, but at the same time, you need to apply antioxidants. So here we have the ferulic acid, which is a wonderful antioxidant. It's a wonderful ingredient when you have troubles of um, excessive exposure to the sun, okay? So this is sunburns. You can see here more sunburns. You can apply the P-factor is kind of, it's, it's gonna dry in the skin. It's gonna do like a little, sometimes you are gonna feel like a little film. So sometimes I recommend after the epifactor or on top of the epifactor applying the hydracutane when you have these deep burns, okay? This is strong burns. On top of the epifactor, you can, you can apply the hydracutane because the hydracutane contains that vitamin E, which is very uh, antioxidant and as well is gonna help with the regeneration of the skin is gonna help uh, to maintain the hydration of the skin. Uh, wonderful to avoid skin irritation after shaving, to use it as an aftershave, as I told you for men. Always recommend when you have men that has this irritation, okay, always recommend the epi factor. Even if they don't have irritation as an aftershave, they can use it. They are going to love this product. And you know what is going to happen is your clients are going to be coming back to you uh, to buy more epi factors. So this is, a, this is a wonderful thing, okay? They are going to get, you know, like really uh, de uh, dependent of the epi factor. Okay, so here we have skin with the sun damage. When we have uh, skin with the sun damage, is not the person when it is weakened to the beach and got you know the burn. It's a person that for many, many, many years, from uh, since they were young, they were exposing their skin every weekend or many days a week because they were going to the beach or because they live near a beach or near a lake or because um, it's a person, for example, that um, is, 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 is a, a do, do a lot of sports or tennis or baseball or any sport under the sun, or is the person that runs marathons, you know, any person that does sports, any kind of sports or like to go in boats and beach and go to the sun for many, 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 many years, they are going to have this sun damage, okay? This is an accumulative energy in the skin. And this is what you are going to be seeing in the skin, hyperpigmentation and hypopigmentation. Hyperpigmentation and hypopigmentation. This is what you are going to see in, uh, in, in this skin. And you, are, you can confirm it because you are going to see as well in the shoulders, the hyperpigmentations, and you are going to see the hyperpigmentation as well in the outer side of the of the arms okay so for these people you can as well recommend the epi factor okay 
and uh, you know, in, in the day or in the night. Okay, so let's talk a little bit. Uh, I want to remind again the professional use of Epifactor as a moisturizer in the Acne Master Protocol. We use Epifactor in rosacea or sensitive skin master protocol, we use the Epifactor. After chemical peels, dermapen, fibroblasts, we use the Epifactor. Uh, injuries due to excess of microdermaration of, or microneedles, remember, you apply Epifactor and then you apply uh, collagen and aloe vera mask. After waxing, you can apply Epifactor, you know, uh, waxing in the eyebrows, waxing in the mustache, in the rest of the face. After waxing, you can always apply a B-factor. After laser, you can apply a B-factor after IPL, okay? And there is another, another use that I want to let you know. And that one is to use the Epifactor as a mask for basic facials. Yes, wonderful. You can, uh, you can use Epifactor in that way too. So what you are going to do, okay, is you are going to take a precaut gauze here you can see, this is a pre-cut gauze. You can see the eyes and the little nose and the mouth. And what you are going to do is uh, you are going to apply the pre-cut gauze over the skin and you are going to apply a little bit of dermatonic on top of the gauze so the gauze gets a little humid, okay? And you are going to apply the B-factor with the brush on top of the gauze in the whole face, okay? You apply the B-factor with a brush, and then you are going to let it set for 15 minutes, okay? You are going to let it set for 15 minutes. It's going to have a decongestive and calming action. So you can do that for dry or mature skin, uh, for example, uh, as a mask for dry or mature skin, you can mix Epifactor with Hydroacutane, and you are going to apply that to the skin. Remember, hydroxyutane with Epifactor, and you do the same. You get the, the precut gauze, and you apply a little bit of the dermatonic to the precut gauze, and you put it on top of this mixture, and you let it act for 15 minutes, okay? So these are two different ways to do it. There is one only with Epifactor, and for dry or mature skin, the other one is with hydroacutane and Epifactor, and then you put the gauze on top of that mixture when you apply it to the skin, okay? Okay, wonderful. So here we have the, uh, the brightening illuminating protocol. This is a protocol, this is a kit that we have with the Epifactor. Is, the Epifactor is going to be in this kit. Just for you to know, uh, the promotion for today is you can buy any size of Epifactor with a 10% discount. There is another promotion. You cannot combine promotions, but there is another promotion that you can buy eight retail size Epifactors and you are going to get a number nine for free. I love that one. You are going to have a huge, you know, it's a wonderful discount if you make the calculations. So you buy eight and you get a number nine for free. Why is that good? It's because the Epifactor is a product that you can sell to anybody. So remember, if you do not invest in your business, your business is not going to grow because you don't feel, you don't feel, you know, that you really, when you have the product and in your business, you are going to sell it because you really, you need, uh, you, you feel the need to sell it. You are going to talk about the product and you're going to sell it easier because you have it there. Your client is only going to get it, you know? The client is going to feel it, it's going to smell it and it's going to get it. So this is a wonderful investment. Buy eight and get a number nine for free. So this is a promotion that we have right now. And the other one is a 10% discount in any, in any size of the Epifactor. That's for today and tomorrow only for the people that got into the seminar today, into the webinar today, okay? So here we have the Brining Illuminating Protocol. This is a protocol, master protocol that you can do in any skin, you know, the Brining Illuminating now for the party season, for the holidays. You can do it with the mandelic acid, so you can do it in anybody, you know, ethnic skin, sensitive skin, um, mature skin, young skin, everybody, you can do the brightening illuminating protocol. It's very good as well to diminish um, hyperpigmentation, post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation, like the um, acne blemishes, for example, is going to be wonderful, this protocol. And in this protocol, we have the Epifactor as well. Um, the brightening illuminating kit is a package that comes with the products that you are going to need in order to do that uh, master protocol, the brightening illuminating 
And uh, this kit is the, the one I recommend when the person is going to start working with their masseuse. It's a wonderful kit to start because you have everything you need to do one of the protocols that you can do in everybody, okay? And then we have here the hydrating anti-wrinkle protocol. I call this one is, for, for example, when you iron a skin, is wonderful for wrinkles, mature skin, you know, the hydrating anti-wrinkle protocol for dehydrated skin is going to be very good for dry skin. So this is another one that you are going to use the P-factor as well in this master protocol, in the hydrating anti-wrinkle protocol. And then we have the Acne Master Protocol. We are going to use the P Factor as well in this master protocol after the clarifying serum before the purifying mask. You are going to apply the P Factor in order to help regenerate the skin after the exfoliation, after the extractions. Remember, you know, the skin is going to be uh, with inflammation, is going to be red after the extractions. So we need to help, you know, calm and calm down. And the P Factor is going to be wonderful for that. And in the rosacea and sensitive skin as well, master protocol, we are going to use the P factor. So this is going to be another use, another professional use for this product, for this product. Okay, girls, so this is everything for today. Remember, we have the 10% discount in any size of the P factor, or you buy eight P factor retail size and you get a number nine for free. And, uh, you know, these are all the professional use for Epifactor. I am going to put as well the, um, the use of Epifactor at home, at home. So you can remember these, you can remind these, and you can let your clients uh, know how they could use the product at home. Everybody should have Epifactor at home. So thank you so much. Let me know if you have any question before leaving. Let me know if you have any question or if you have any comment. Oh, wonderful, Rocio, thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, yes, I, I remember your name uh, from other webinars, as well as Johanna, Johanna Yerena. Welcome, welcome uh, to this uh, webinar, Johanna. Thank you so much for connecting. So this is set, this is it for today. I am leaving now and I hope to see you in another webinars or seminars or mini courses. Have a wonderful rest of the week.